Do you live in a death spiral state? If you do, be careful. Don't put your capital in. Don't buy a municipal bond and don't buy a house. I have 11 states on my list of dubious economics. These are states that are at high risk of descending into a downward spiral of rising taxes and rotten economic values. Not surprisingly, California is on that list, so is Illinois. Now, how do you get on this elite list of death spiral states in our listing? The most important thing is you have more takers than makers. When that ratio gets above one, the state's in trouble. And a taker, in my definition, is somebody who depends upon the government. It could be somebody on the dole. It could be somebody on the government payroll. There's another factor in there for unfunded pension liabilities. These people too, the ones collecting pensions, which aren't paid for yet, are a drag on the state's fiscal situation. The maker part of it is very simple. How many private sector jobs are there? If there are a lot of private sector jobs and not too many people dependent upon the state, you're in good shape. Few jobs, lots of dependents, bad shape. Now the second half of my formula involves a rating on overall economic health from Conning & Company, which happens to be an investment firm that specializes in fixed income, especially the risk aspects of portfolio measurement. So if you're on the bottom half of the states on the Conning list, and you have a taker to maker ratio better than one, I should say worse than one, then you're one of these 11 states. Let's look at a few of them. California, the Moonbeam State, how do they get on the list? I think their specialty out there in the West is chasing private sector jobs away. They do every trick in the book from high taxes to oppressive regulation to interference in private business to make sure that employers want to leave and get anywhere else but California. Illinois, land of corruption, what do they do to get on that list? They've got a lot of problems, just like California, having to do with high taxes and big spending. But the most important thing for Illinois is that unfunded pension liability, which figures into my formula. California, and much more importantly, Illinois, have a habit of making grandiose promises to their state employees for retirement and then not putting any money in the bank for it. So if you live in either of those states or the other nine that are on my list of 11 death spiral places, be careful. If you live there anyway for your career, great. Don't buy a home, rent. And if you happen to be an older person with an investment portfolio that includes municipal bonds, buy your bonds anywhere but those places.